India is very energy hungry. As India develops further, the requirement of energy will be even higher. Burning of coal produces carbon dioxide and that in turn causes global warming. India also has deep strengths in nuclear energy. Nuclear or atomic energy is considered a relatively carbon-free source of energy. Up from the Sunday, hundreds of cars and vehicles going behind us. Are they mostly running on imported gas, diesel and fuel? I totally agree, Pallav. 85% of these particular vehicles are propelled by imported oil and gas. 85%. They emit almost 18% carbon dioxide, which is in a dispersed form. You cannot even capture that carbon dioxide. So we are using an imported fuel, and we are also emitting carbon dioxide, which is getting dispersed and contributing to the 18% of the emissions uh, of carbon dioxide and in this country. So what is the solution? Is there a greener solution to mobility? Sure, sure, sure. I think the e-mobility, I mean, look at the beauty of this e-mobility, Pallavji. I mean, internal combustion engine having 250 parts replaced by five parts of an electric motor-driven vehicle, I think is the answer to this particular uh, solution. I think e-mobility is the future of the mobility space. On this episode of Life and Science with Pallav Bagla, it's all about energy security and energy independence for India. That is the story of India's energy independence. Keep watching India Science.